I just hit day 10 of Dungeon Hunter 6, and these are 10 tips that I wish I knew before right now. I would have progressed a lot faster, and I would have wasted a lot less materials. So let's go in and have a look. We'll start off pretty simple and easy, and this is the Hunter Treasure. I thought here that you just go auto matchmaking, wait, takes ages, it's just useless. It took me ages to really even go in here and do these. But if you go down to create team, you create a team like this, just click start recruitment, start recruitment, and super duper quick, you'll have people come onto your team. See, boom, there's another one, and I should get one more very soon. And once you've got all four, just like that, enter the raid, wait here, and within the three seconds, you're taken into the raid with four people all around the same level as you, and away you go. You're not sitting there waiting for matchmaking or going in by yourself, because I went in by myself a fair few times, and it just takes way too long. You don't get three stars. So this is the quickest way that I've found to do the Hunter Treasure. And it, you get the full three stars every time. If you're not getting it on the top level, you can do like level 50 or level 40. Just drop down to the one before and make sure you get the three stars. You get much better rewards doing it that way than just clearing one a little bit higher. I'll throw one more quick one in here whilst we're in here. If you click the three lines at the top and bring this up, you can go into other things while you're battering. So you can go into this welfare here. I can do my daily spin or my spin every hour eight minutes nine minutes or whatever it is whilst i'm still in the battle if i go back look the battle's still going and nothing has stopped so you can be a lot more efficient with your time you can go into a battle like this then maybe if i want to even summon i can go over and do summons come back and it's still battling so whenever you jump into a game go into a long battle first then come over and then start clicking on the exclamation marks and getting rid of red dots. It'll save you loads, loads of time in game. Whilst we're over in summon, actually, when you come to mysterious summoning, make sure your wish list over the right hand side has the right champions in it. As you can see, you can do one from each element. These are the three that I have. The fire one that I do want to do is the Archmage helmet, which is the one I'm using can't do that so i've got delphine in there instead i'm using her at the moment i've got a few copies she's my three star so that's why she's here nora's there because she's one of the best and i can't remember this one's name but she is definitely one of the best water ones as well but it is up to you make sure you put the right ones in your wish list staying on summons really quickly make sure whenever you summon you do a 10 times summon because you only use nine of these scrolls to summon 10 champions and you guarantee an, you're guaranteed an SR every time. This is one of the most important things that I've found. Always do a 10x. Even when you're doing a 10x in this vault here, a 10x gacha guarantees one solidifications crystal and gives 10 of these as a reward. So you don't get anything extra. You're still pulling 10 exactly the same, but you are guaranteed to get a solidification crystal which is, this is something that you really need for in the reforge. And as you can see, battle is still going. I have not missed a beat and I've done a few things. I've even talked to you about things that I thought I was going to have to wait for to do. So I think this is one of the most efficient ways you can play. Get in there, do it. Any, any event, it doesn't matter. Some of those events take ages, like the ones where you can fight the boss five times to use all your energy. Man, just do that and then go summon, do what else, whatever else you need to do. You obviously can't go into another battle whilst you're in a battle, but... There you go, easy. And then you stay in your crew like this and you can just enter the raid again and do your second one straight away. Hunter treasure is done for the day. Next thing on my list is the shop. I didn't even know that this shop was here till like yesterday or the day before, which was really good because I had saved up. I had so many gems, uh, so many points, heaps of coupons and heaps of guild, guild um, points. So it was really good because I got to go in and just buy everything that I really wanted. Like this battle ram, it's a one-time purchase. May as well literally just buy that once you have the 6,000 because that will straight off the bat just add a huge chunk of power rating to your character. In the coupon shop, I need to look into this a little bit more as to what to buy. The point shop, this mysterious summoning scroll is 60% off. That is every day. You may as well go in and buy that for 200. But I think the main thing you need to buy is these legendary summoning, summoning scrolls. You get five per week at 2,000. So this is where you need to go into the arena. I believe these are arena. You're going to need to go into the arena and do your five free battles and then buy five more battles. We'll go in and we'll talk about that in just one second. Green shop, I would, like I've said in other videos, I would not buy anything with green gems yet, except for maybe the high guild donation flag to just donate to your guild. I'd do that every day if you don't 
get one from elsewhere. But all of this, it's not worth buying with your green gems yet. Just save onto them. If you are buying packs, I'd save onto them. As you can see, I've got 2,700. Diamond shop, buy whatever you want. I get You get that many diamonds. It is not funny. The main thing that I buy on is Blitz Scroll and definitely buy the five arena tokens every day. So it costs you 100 gems to get the five arena tokens and each arena win wins you like 150 to 200 arena points coming to the arena shop. That means if you win your 10 every day, you're getting a thousand points a day. That is what I do every day with the arena. Do my five free, buy the five, win the five, always take on your easiest opponent, get just stack these points so you can buy the mysterious summoning scroll and the legendary summoning scroll, everything else. Maybe this advanced recovery stone down the track, but for now, I wouldn't really waste it on anything else. There you go. I activated the Battle Ram. I got 7,000 straight onto my power rankings for nothing at all. Next thing I want to talk about, which is also a different type of shop, is this Treasure Bazaar and what you should be buying out of this. Again, do not spend your green diamonds in here. It is not worth it. Not even for this. I would only spend gold. Look, I've got 24 million gold and 5 million of these, what are they, Hunter's Tokens. So use them. Buy whatever you think you like, enhancement stones, all these things. You kind of need all of this all the time. Always refresh the three times so you get what you want. Look at that, 100k for a legendary one. Get those. I always get these blitz scrolls because you run out of these very, very fast. Perfection stones you always want. XP, I, I, buy it. If you have this much, just buy it. Like you, you, you get that much resources that you can't spend enough really it's literally only the green gems that you need to worry about these basic embroses are the things that you want to find you want as many as those because they are hard to come by and the mithril to upgrade your character as well look i've still got 16 refreshes that auto refreshes in, in, like every hour so make sure you, you come back and check this every hour obviously use the refreshes when you want it's probably worth me doing these now and then just really stacking up on all this stuff 80 gems for a, a summon like make sure you use this to your advantage i can't stress it enough green gems are so hard to come by because it's literally only money unless you spend heaps of money on this game then buy whatever you want i don't care but with the green gems why i say to save them is to save them for all of these you get all this stuff for free if you save your green gems. Look, I just went past that 2400 in 10 days. I've literally only been buying dollar packs and stuff like that. Eventually, I'll get to this traveler's backpack and get a back, better backpack. Then I get an optional lieutenant. And then at the top, you get some of these gems, top gems. So I think it's really worth it to keep a hold of all those green gems if you are going to continually buy slowly and slowly over time. Talk about the guild really quickly. It doesn't look like there's any auctions on at the moment. It looks like it resets very soon. But these auction items, people will be putting up just anything. Like a lot of summoning scrolls was here today. Like I bought every summoning, I, I bid on every summoning scroll and I, I won them all. So I got so much summoning scrolls for dirt cheap. Again, there'll be things come up with gold gems. Really be cautious about that. But anything that is diamonds, gold, or the hunter tokens, you get so many of them. Just literally buy as much as you can with that. Also, with your guilds, make sure you keep checking your guild to see if they're active. I literally just switched guilds today because my old guild that I was in was fairly inactive and wasn't even taking down the guild boss every day. So I've switched over to another guild and now everyone is active all the time look at this the, the there's a four people that are over two days in my other one there was like more than half the clan over t over five days old so make sure you're always updating your guild to the best one you can be in another really quick one is this magic basket okay it seems to be at the end of the day you get both of these well after lunchtime until reset time and six hours before reset time so if you come on just before reset come and claim these it's an extra 100 stamina and 60 energy this is i can't stress enough how amazing this is to go and get your levels through the roof go and just throw this into story and wherever else you use these energies i can't remember off the top of my head right now easiest way to know you're on track every day is by the dailies i've said this before but literally do you just go through and do all of these it'll guide you through exactly what you need to do each day but there's one thing in here that i've missed and didn't really understand is this retrieve resources i believe this is if you're not online and your resources go above the threshold or maybe you get some gear that 
your backpack is overflowed, it comes and lands in here. Make sure you retrieve it all. It just co it just costs some diamonds to get, but wasting that stamina or wasting all that gear from the backpack are not worth it. Make sure you retrieve everything here so you do get the maximum amount of resources out of this game. So we've got the last two now, guys, and these are probably the most important, okay? These are exactly where you need to focus and this is where you'll lose resources or you won't use your resources properly. So if you come into the forge, I was waiting to upgrade all of these slots because I thought that I'd be wasting resources because I'm actually upgrading the weapon, not the slots. Okay, so when you do this enhance down here to enhance these slots to perfect, it doesn't matter what weapon you're on. So you can upgrade these, just do your auto enhance or do normal enhance, whatever you want to do, depending if you want to specifically upgrade a certain slot or not. But don't worry about what's in the slots. It doesn't matter. As soon as I go and change one of these chess pieces or one of these weapons to another one, it is still upgraded the way it was before. So don't hold off. So where my neglect come from and I didn't upgrade, because on other games that I play, you're actually upgrading the gear, not the slot that the gear is in. So this is why I held back because I thought, well, I need to save my resources for when I get the better gear, then I upgrade that gear. But no, you're actually upgrading your main slot to level 9, 10, so on so forth so go ahead and upgrade this as much as possible every time you can because this will get your power level up and you'll be able to progress through the game even further getting you better gear again then getting you better power so make sure this is high as possible and when you're in the reforge if you get any that are this red right here click on there to lock it this is where these things come into play and then use the reforge it keeps the red one here meaning that you have a higher chance of this getting higher than the rating was here. This is obviously, like, well, it's only half the rating here, but this is a much better rating than what is here. And just cancel if it's not better. Again, cancel. You see what I mean? I've got so much reforged costs that here that I should go through and make these a, a whole lot better than what they are. But that's something that you're going to learn down the track. Hi highlight these reds. If you get a really good yellow one, you might even want to hold one of those because eventually down the track once you have oh you can only lock up to three attributes so once you got those three reds then it's literally a game of gambling consistently and you lose nine every time so just be cautious about those reforging because you will use those refor resources very fast once you get into it and the last one that i want to talk about is the lieutenants if you have a lieutenant that you don't want to use anymore so you've upgraded them i'll use this guy as an example this mountain giant i've accidentally leveled him up i've leveled him up to what level 12 we'll stop it there level 14 i've leveled him up to level 14 i've perfected him a few times just like that but now i realize he's not very good at all i don't want to use him and i go oh, i just wasted all those resources no no you have not wasted all those resources come into upgrade go down the bottom to withdraw choose him and you will reset these rewards you will get that xp and perfection stones back for no cost at all so have no fear just use the best lieutenants you have at the time upgrade them all and then when you want to switch them out make sure you do this make sure you reset him because if you were to go in and upgrade sorry if you were to go in and promote star raid and you picked one of those and they have been perfected or they have been upgraded to a certain level you lose the resources do not waste these resources if you have upgraded their level do not use them as a star up make sure you withdraw them get all the resources back that you don't lose the star rating on them which is really good because you use those star ratings in your helpers down here the star ratings go towards your helpers here and that works really well to boost your power as well and you obviously got to use a star rating to then upgrade other ones but make sure you withdraw them get all the resources back off them before you start upgrading because otherwise that is just resources down the drain and it it takes a long time to get this xp and perfection just be really cautious with that and that is my number one tip and my final tip for today if you've been loving my videos hit that subscribe hit that like and i'll see you in another one very soon